and welcome to the Australian Herpetoculture Podcast. How you going, Luke? Good in yourself, mate. Good, mate. I didn't stutter that one. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny when you listen to like all the other NPRs and all that and they try and say it. Everyone just oh, stops yeah. it up. They just go, ah, oh, the Australian Hurt Pod. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just shorten it. They abbreviate yeah, yeah. it like Australians do. Yeah, the Aussie Hurt Pod. Yeah. But, Maybe um, we should have chosen an easier name. Yeah. It looks well. good on paper. It does. <laughs> it does. I enjoy it. <clears throat> yeah, it's gonna stick. You got a bit of a yeah. lurgy there, mate. Yeah, mate. Yeah, a bit of a, a bit of a itchy throat and all that. So it's not the spicy cough. Nah, it's not the spicy cough. I tested the other day. I went mm. did a um did a course and had to do a test before the course and this and that. So no spicy, no spicy flu. No, that's good. Still got to work, unfortunately. Yeah, well, it's just the kids bringing it home, right? That's it, mate. Daycare. They bring everything out from daycare. It's like my boss. My boss is constantly sick because of his kid in daycare. Hey. Yeah. Oh, it's like, yeah, it's insane. Like, I'm lucky I get over stuff pretty quick. My wife doesn't, but I do. So, yeah. Oh, that's rough. It's been happening, hey, mate. Well, a lot. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I haven't stopped. To be I'm honest. kind of the same with the new job and everything, but not so much yeah. the. Animal side of things, but oh, well, actually, oh, no. Yeah, you have you've been tinkering. Yeah, I have actually been. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, do you want to go first, or should I? Oh, you go. No, you're right. Okay. Yeah. So I've um finally finished my monitor corner. Yeah. Which is awesome, and that's all thanks to you coming over the other day as well and helping me with a lift for that big big tank onto the other tank. Yeah, they sit well those tanks, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Well, especially with that little bit of timber that I kind of got. Uh, propping them in between, like the way that you saw her do. Um, yeah. Because they're, yeah, they're Reptile 1 vivariums, but I kind of just added a, a little bit of timber onto the inside of the pelmet just so then they don't kind of slide off one another when they're stacked on top of each other. Because obviously they're yeah. not really meant to be stacked on top of each other, but, you know, I try to that make things good, work. Man. Yeah. That's a good stacked up. Yeah. It's it's funny. Like I keep walking into this room and kind of just going, holy shit, this is in my house. <laughs> like yeah, it's, it looks good. Yeah. Yeah, it looks unreal. I um, haven't seen the Kimbo out a hell of a lot, to be honest. She's been kind of hiding in her rock crevices and getting used to those. So Acclimatising a little bit. Yeah, yeah. She's only been in there for a few days. So, yeah, you know, that'll give her a bit of time. Um, but, no, it is uh, it is looking good in here, and I'm really enjoying seeing it, you know, because I had the three tanks going for a while, but getting that rock work and stuff finished for the Kimberly took its time. Um, but, yeah, no, it's, it's good to finally see it done and watching like the sunrise sunset features and stuff with the grid connect system yeah i love it love it love it love it i'll um i'll have to post a photo up on our facebook page i reckon when the episode drops just so people can kind of see what they're in for Uh, maybe get a bit of a visual on it um but yeah no i've uh (laughs) yeah i've gone nuts eh? i've just been trying to get things done and dusted before before the kid turns up so Feels like every waking moment I'm cleaning an old tank and selling it, or you know, doing the animal shuffle. Yep. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, not long now, mate. The countdown's on. She's 27 weeks today, so probably 11 weeks because she's going to get induced, or they reckon she's going to get induced. So, yep. Coming around yeah. quick. I'll go real quick, mate. You'll blink and you'll be like, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the instruction manual? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My brother brother reached out and he's like, what do you want for the kid? And I, you know, I kind of just said, oh, you know, don't worry or, you know, whatever you want to get it, you know, you can get it. And he's like, no, no, no. What's something that you actually need? And I was like, oh, you know, like maybe like a, one of those baby play pens or something like that just to kind of put it in so it's contained when it's a bit bigger. And he's like, oh, awesome. I'll get you one of those, but you got to do a, um, <laughs> a, an enclosure setup with it <laughs> and post it on YouTube. I was like, like rock background. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> How to keep a baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you can yeah. chuck that picture of hides that we took, you took on the weekend when I come oh, around. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where she's sitting know. in that big, um, the, the big, big reptile one. Yeah. Mm. She wanted to get in it, but I'm like, you want to get in there? She's like, yeah. So I put her in there. <laughs> Yeah. And then you snapped that picture. It was hilarious. I was just like, that's hilarious. That's the first kid that I've ever seen in an enclosure. Like, you know, it's, it, I don't know if it's – I haven't seen it in the reptile hobby, but in the fish tank kind of world, it's super common that when you get a new big fish tank, before you fill mm. it with anything, you put your kids in it. 
And you take yeah, I've a seen photo. pictures like that, even though I'm mm. not in the really in the aquarium hobby, but yeah. Yeah, or, or you, you know, depending on how big it is, you get in too. Um, yeah. But yeah, it doesn't seem to be something that I've seen in the reptile hobby so much. But yeah, when I saw that, I was like, oh, this is kind of like a. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she just wanted to get in. I was like, oh. Yeah. And she's, she's my little sidekick, that girl. Oh, they both were, weren't they? Yeah. When I cut the hole in the PowerPoint, went around the other side of the wall and they're like crouching down and peek, <laughs> peeking through. <laughs> and then Julesy yeah. wasn't giving you the wires to plug it all yeah. up. <laughs> He's like, no, I do it. I do it. I'm like, no, mate, I've got to do it. No, I do it. I do it. I'm like, no, mate. <laughs> and then when you threatened to attach Buzz Lightyear to the wires, then you kind of... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, you, you do it. Quickly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that was hilarious. Buzz Lightyear. But yeah, no, it was awesome. Yeah, it was good. No, it was uh, it was good to have you around and you know kind of just chat shop for a bit and stuff like that and and see it all because that's the first time you've seen those enclosures in person, hey? Yeah, I, I'm pretty impressed by them to be honest. Yeah, oh, well, yeah. I mean, I'm very impressed by them. Um, the only thing, well, one of the things that I wish I had done is I wish I'd used black screws on all those extra screws that I put into the enclosures. Not that it yeah. really means much. I could always just paint a little bit of black paint over the top of them. But um, I did it on the Kimberley Rock Monitor enclosure, but I didn't do it on the rest of them. They've all got silver silver screw heads. Yeah. But, yeah, minute thing that I can change later. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just get a bit of black nail polish or something. Yeah, that's it. You know, I'm because I, I put, put them like I jacked up the enclosures on form ply sheets and then put wheels on the bottom of those so they are movable. Yeah. I haven't. I'm gonna go around and paint that form ply edge where it's like kind of yeah. grey. I'm gonna paint that black just so it's a bit more seamless. Um, so probably just when I do that, I'll just hit the screw heads with a bit of bit of paint. Yeah, I think I've got an old old can of black paint there, so no. black black enamel paint. Yeah, but no, it's uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to having this room done at least. I keep saying yeah. that. It sounds like a broken record every podcast, but <laughs> I'm looking forward to finishing this one. Yeah, so what's been going on with you? Oh, not much. I picked up those turtles obviously on the weekend. Yes, yes. That was pretty cool. Got them set up. I haven't seen them much. They're just They're in water though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Through the water. Uh, yeah. every day I come home, Heidi's like turtle, turtle. So I gotta take it down and said, She is obsessed with them. That's so. She got upset when we left your house because she thought we were leaving them there. Yeah, she didn't realize they were on the front seat with you. Yeah. So the whole way home, she's like, so every time we come home now, she goes turtle, turtle, and points down the backyard. So I've got to take her down to see the turtles. Even though you can't see them, you can just see the water. Yeah. But um, yeah, she loves them. How good's that though? It was really cool Mm because, like, I remember opening the bucket and showing your kids, and you know, she was just pointing at them like, "Oh my god, like what are these things?" Sort of thing. Yeah. She's got a little um like uh, bath toy turtle. She's had it for for ages, and like she's every every night every night she gets in the bath, she's just playing with that turtle, turtle, turtle. <laughs> so, yeah, got those ones. Got the, what are, yeah, no, I've got my plans to hopefully come to fruition soon with um some new enclosures. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's exciting stuff. Up. Yeah. You've, so. you've done the final designs and stuff for those, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just got to nut out a few kinks with what's with um, whatever he needs to sort out, and then it'll be behind me. It'll just be schmicko. That'll look mad. Yeah. So. Yeah. But um, my wall well, looks so right. empty behind us. It does. Yeah. For now. Quite soon, though. No. Nah. No, I need to cram as many animals into this as I can. You'll, you'll be looking yeah. at a sleeping frill neck every Tuesday night. That's what you'll be looking at. <laughs> it's dozing off. <laughs> but, um, no, I picked up that cracker celebrosis too. That thing's stunning. Yeah. It's heaps of black on it. Well, I was saying when you sent that photo through, it almost looked exantic. Yeah. So I got an attitude though. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Got an attitude. Oh, That's man. funny. Yeah, no, it's awesome. But um, yeah, yeah so no, I'll come you, over. And... Have you organised some girls for him yet? Nah, no, I'm trying to. Well, there you go. You're just putting it out into the internet world. If yeah. anybody's got some female celebrosis, yeah, got to hit up Mister Rogers to. here. Yeah, I'll take it straight away. 
but um, <laughs> I've, I could get some like three hatchies. Yeah. I can get my hands on three hatchies, but um, obviously not my luck. I'll get three hatchies and they'll be all male. <clears throat> That's the risk, right? Yeah, exactly. That's the risk exactly. I took with the Cornutus. Yeah. And then I raised them for you and you found a male almost instantly. Yeah, what were the odds of that? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's just the the world just planned that for you, mate. Yeah, that's right. It kind of, yeah, it worked perfectly. But, no, um, well, at least I know I can probably call for first dibs if you do get some babies <clears throat> out. So, 100%. Yeah. I just need some Swainy now. Put that out into the ether as well. Yeah. Well, I haven't seen them kicking around for a while. Mate, I haven't seen them pop up for yonks. Actually, I think the last ad that I saw for Swaney was yours. That's the last one I saw, yeah. Was that like two years ago, three years ago? Yeah, something like that. I think it was. That's crazy. Like that's, people, that's real crazy if you think about yeah. it. Yeah. So then that's the, yeah. But, um, yeah, no, it's an absolute cracker, that celebrosis. <laughs> when I saw it, I pulled it out. I was like, oh, my God, like. I haven't seen one like that before. It, it's kind of crazy because it, it almost reminded me of my Aberrans. Like I know that sounds kind of yeah. weird, but I'm talking <clears> about <throat> the fact that like he's such he's got such a light colour with then such a heavy black on him. Yeah. Like it just doesn't the – couple, there are a couple of colours that I've never kind of had together on a leaf tail. You know, they always seem to be like dark greens or browns or something like that. Well, they're usually like the ones – the last ones I had were pretty much just brown and white with maybe like a little faint bit of red in there. Yeah. But, um, yeah, when we come home from your place, Julesy, first thing he says to Kim, can we get a green tree python? <laughs> and then she's like, oh, she's because like, oh, we obviously had the old bird. She's like, could we keep one outside? I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, you couldn't keep one of them outside. Yeah. I'm like, so you're not saying no? She's like, oh, no, I'm not <laughs> saying no. I just don't like the, like the mice and that. I'm like, well, if you don't see them, then, you know, we're good to go. You should get like a little little bar fridge or something like that for your uh, yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. Your room down yeah. there, something that's got like yeah. a little mini freezer in it where you can just keep enough mice for your roughies and your your greens. Yeah, it's not like you're gonna have to have a full freezer full. No, no, you just buy a ten pack and that'll do for a couple of weeks. Like, yeah, obviously, a bit like yeah, that'll be the plan. That is the plan anyway. So. I love that though, because like you know, Julesy was um, pretty shy the first time he came around here, but then this time around, he kind of recognised the place a little bit more. And yeah. As soon as he got in through the front door, he's like green snakes. <laughs> yeah, runs straight into that room too. He's like, he yeah, knew they were. He's like, oh, but um, yeah. Now this, oh, I love green tree pythons. Yeah. So they're beautiful animals, and you just can't go past them. I reckon. And as yeah. far as like display animals go, they're pretty, pretty model citizens. Oh yeah. I'd love, yeah, just the 1200-1200, two green tree pythons, Aussie natives, yeah. nice white stripes. Yeah. Just look awesome. If you did greens, well, when you do greens again, are you going to throw UVB above them? Yeah, yeah. I'll keep you, UV above snakes. Yeah. I well, I mean, small collection, you kind of have the opportunity to kind of explore that stuff yeah. without worrying about the bills so much. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think it's one of those things that, you know, like a, well, uh, Cermak was – Swinging around with the UVB with with neonate snakes and stuff for a while just to see if that developed the white stripe a bit more and stuff, wasn't he? I think he was, yeah. I don't really remember the outcome though. No. I remember him talking about it at some point. I, I mean, yeah. no, no doubt if you got onto those those uh, Facebook pages that he was on, there'd be some sort of information that's buried there somewhere. But Yeah. That's the problem with Facebook. Yeah, it's so hard to find. That was a good thing about the forums. Mm. You get, it was easy to search and... Yeah, there's I mean, one thing that you going. went to, one search bar. Yeah. Got your answers. Yeah, APS is still there. Yeah. People well, still use it. it. Yeah, I jumped on it a, oh, it was a while ago now, and um, hmm. it's just still the same old, same old, like the way it used to be. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Janico called it, you know, riddled with cancer last week. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. that describes it pretty perfect. <laughs> yeah. But um, I guess before, like, before social media, that's what there was. I'd remember, like, I'd come home from, like, work and I'd just sit on APS pretty much all night. That and, yeah. and um, Facebook. Yeah. That was before, like, Facebook was big, big though. Yeah. 
And you just cruise and see what you missed out on throughout the day and this and that. But um, Yeah, it was always good following threads and stuff like that, especially yeah. for something that was legitimately interesting. I never really commented too much on there, though. No, you're like me. You're kind of like like the creepy guy in the corner that just watches everything happen. <laughs> yeah. <pretty much. laughs> I'm, I'm That's how I feel. Yeah. I'm the same on social media, though. I don't really engage on social media too much. Yeah. It's too much negativity. There's a lot of it out there, that's for sure. Yeah. And it's Life's not hard not sure to be negative. Yeah, exactly. And it's not too hard to, you know, have somebody make you feel negative about something either, which is always 100%. good. Not good, brother. Um, yeah, like if someone messages me, they'll always write back. Mm. Get a message, like always. But, um, yeah, I don't really comment on posts. No. Nah. No, nah, I get what you mean. Yeah. No, nah, so... Uh, the Illawarra Reptile Expo is on this weekend. Yeah, on You're the eighth of May, I am I am heading down. Um, let me just bring up where the actual event's being held because I can't remember off the top of my head. That's the beauty of GPS these days. <laughs> but uh, no, it's going to be a good day. It looks like they've got pretty much a full retail section there. It's been completely filled with um, you know vendors and and uh, you know kind of stalls, dry goods stalls and stuff like that. Um, they're going to be doing a, a bunch of reptile shows between the zoos. I think Symbio and another mob are going down there too. I'm still trying to find this information here. Uh, yeah, Symbio and Shoalhaven Zoo are going to be attending, so no doubt they're going to have a bunch of animals to look at as well. Um, yeah. They will have some reptile shows going on as well while they're there. Um, yeah, I'm going down to, to judge the reptiles that are actually going to be on show. So... That'll be an interesting experience. I've never done that before. Yeah. Get to look at look at people's animals and, and check them out. And, yeah, that'd be kind of cool to be a little bit behind the scenes with that sort of stuff. Um, yeah. I was planning on heading down, but obviously being Mother's Day. Yeah. Yep. I can't make it, unfortunately. Oh, well, you could have brought Kim down to buy a green tree python. <laughs> or look for a green tree python. Yeah. Yeah, you'd, you'd barely really find one of those at an expo these days. Yeah. So the the expo is at the Illawarra Sports State Stadium in Hooker Creek Road, Berkeley. Yeah. So, uh, adult tickets are ten dollars each. Children are five dollars each, and family tickets are twenty five for two adults and two kids. So nice. not too bad, really, for a good day out. You know, you'd be able to catch yeah. up with a lot of people that are pretty like minded. Sounds like a fair animals. few people are heading down. So yeah, Illawarra is always one of those ones that I found that to be really popular. Um, yeah. I think I've only been to two before, just because it is a bit of a bit of a drive, and I'm not like heavy, heavy into vending or anything like that. Um, mm. But I am looking forward to going down to this one. So, you know, if anybody is walking around and sees my ugly mug, come and say good day. I'm always happy to have a chat and you know share some thoughts or whatever. But um, no, it should be good. I'll, I'm going to try to film it just so then people got a bit of a bit of a look at the expo for the people that can't make it. So. Um, no doubt if I get something together, maybe I'll share it on our Facebook page as well just to keep the love going. Yeah. But no, it should be should be a pretty good day. I know Joe um, was promoting it on a radio station down that way. I think today she was. Yeah, I saw so, her, the picture she put up. She said yeah. she was going to get the um, monitor on her shoulder. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that was awesome. So um, I'm actually going to go down on the Saturday night straight from work, uh, go and I think – meet up with Joe and Michael at their place and, and Kai and Amy. So I think I'm going to stay with Kai that night and then, yeah, head down to the expo early Sunday morning. Yeah, that would be because it's, it opens pretty early, doesn't it? Uh, 10. 10. 10, yeah. yeah. So not super, super early, uh, but in saying that I think I had to be there for eight if I wasn't yep. mistaken or something. So that's why I was just like, oh, it might just be might just be easier for me to be there a little bit early. I will just confirm those times. Yeah, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. So, yeah, yeah, but no, it should be good. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Something yeah. different. Not to be honest, good, yeah. it's going to drag me away from all the stuff I've been busting my guts for on the weekends here, yeah. which is kind of good. I had a bit of a break. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Give me a chance to run the new car in a bit as well. Yeah. So nice trip down. Should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Um, but yeah. No, the, you know how you came over and put those PowerPoints in for me? Well, the PowerPoint. Yeah, for your fish tank. <laughs> yeah. I was doing kind of like 
animal Tetris in my head the other day, and I, I was planning to use that PowerPoint and and put a, a big fish tank against that wall. Yeah. And I think after talking to you and kind of bouncing ideas off a few other people, I'm like, do I really need another fish tank or do I need more space for reptiles? And I think the verdict is more space for reptiles. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So I'm thinking I'm going to – I'm still utilising the PowerPoint and I think I'm going to make a green tree python hatchy wall essentially with exoterras and my nice. hatchling green tree pythons in some bigger exoterras that they can grow up into. Yep. Um, what size are you thinking? I've got that 90 by 60 mm-hmm. yep. that I got off you, and I've got a 45 by 45 by 90 tall. Yep. So I might just put those side by side and just try a couple of different styles of yep. how to house them. But I I might have to try for the time being um, cohabbing neonates just to see how they go. I've seen plenty of people doing it before with them, so... We'll try. Yeah, you see how it goes. Try. Yeah. If I, I see anything okay. sus, I'll be splitting them instantly. So Yeah, back in the tub or something. So Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Or I'll find somewhere else to get rid of another fish tank and put another tank, uh, Exoterra <laughs> or something like that. So I don't know. If, uh, I want to get them out of these tubs. Yeah. They're, they're, they're too pretty to watch them go through their, their color change in a tub. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. Oh, it's awesome. Hey? Yeah. Well, it makes me want to meet even more again now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've, I've named them all now. So we've got lime, avocado, lemon, and banana. So <laughs> real original stuff. But um, no, I'm, I want to, you know how I'm doing these vinyl backgrounds for everything? Yeah, yep. I want to actually print off some shots that Todd and I got from the rainforest. Nice. And do them on those those enclosures. Just keep them simple. Inside, I'll still just deck it out with plants and stuff. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, how pretty they are. Man, they've grown heaps, eh? Yeah, they're getting chunky. That's why I'm like, I don't want you in these boxes for too much longer. Yeah. But no, they're, they're pretty sizey little buggers. Like, they're eating pretty large fuzzy mice now, so. Yeah. Considering they're, what, six months old, well, they've grown real quick. Real, real quick. Yeah, considering how small they are when they hatch out. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's crazy stuff. But, um, yeah, I'm still thinking of doing uh, one of those. You know how I did the drip system for the boy using that that dosing aquarium dosing pump? Yeah, I'm going to do like, something similar. Yeah. So I'm thinking because obviously I don't have Miss King systems just laying around and I'm not that rich. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to kind of make up a drip system pretty much the same for them and yep. run it in the cabinet and stuff out there. So at least they get a little rain shower every couple of days or something like that. Yeah. Be pretty oh, mad. look good. Yeah. Keen to see that. Yeah. Put up one now. Do it, man. You got the go. You got the green light. The semi-green light. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Hide the mice and you'll be right. Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. I might have to get another <laughs> bar fridge. That'd be perfect. A little bar fridge down under the desk here. Podcast, cold beer. Cold beer. Good to go. Bring the kids down here, feed all the animals, clean them, drink beer. Yeah. <laughs> and can do her thing up what she wants to do. Yeah. I'll entertain the kids. Yep. Yeah. Good to go. Yeah, you do bloody good at wrangling those things, I have to say. Oh, it's like a cool. seasoned pro. Yeah, you get used to it. It's harder with two. I can imagine it with three. Oh, fuck that. I don't know how people do it. Yeah, it is awesome. But Oh, yeah. It is That's hard. just work. You know, like yeah. even two look like a bit of a handful. Not that you weren't, you know, not, not that you were struggling, but it was just kind of like, you know, obviously I've never had any practice of that. So Yeah. It's different with your nephews where you just pick them up by their underpants or whatever and you just drag them all somewhere. <laughs> They're not yours, yeah, and you give <laughs> them back mine. at the end of the day. No, I don't have to clean them. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, no. Nah, how awesome is that poster too? That oh, you got behind. It. Yeah, it's sick, man. You left yours at Tyson's. Did you? Yeah, saying? I went around to his house. He's like, oh, I got. He, he said to me, he goes, oh, I got something for you. I'm like, oh, as he goes, oh, I think you'll like it. I'm like, yeah, sick. Get around there and show me. I'm like, oh, that's wicked. Like it's similar to the ones that we got with all the, um, like the leaf tails on them and stuff like that. Yeah, but it's obviously, the nets. yeah, it's obviously like the geckos of New Zealand. And I was like, yeah, that's and skinks, yeah. <clears throat> and um, 
yeah, I rolled it up, rolled it back into the thing, and I sat out there and we were chatting. I picked up a couple of other things while I was there. And I get home and I'm, I'm driving, I'm looking behind me, I'm like, where the hell did I put that poster roll? <laughs> Maybe I chucked it in the boot. I'm like, I didn't open the boot. Get home, I'm like, no, nah, it's not in the car. I shouldn't message. I leave the, my poster. He's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, <laughs> But yeah, no, nah, it's an awesome poster, eh? Yeah, it's sick. I didn't know what he was talking about because he was messaging me saying, "Oh, I've got, I've got you something. I've got you something." And I'm like, "Oh, cool. You know, thanks. You didn't have to, sort of thing." Um, but I was, I was intrigued as to what it was, and I was in the middle of serving a customer talking about turtle care at work, and uh, he he popped into the shop and quickly handed it to me, and he's like, "Oh, I can't hang around or whatever." Well, I would have loved to have opened it in front of him and, and had a chat. Yeah. But yeah, I sent him a photo later on. And I was like, "I've already got it laminated and on the wall, mate. It's right there." <laughs> and he's like, oh, "Yeah, cool." <laughs> So, That's an awesome, awesome, awesome poster. poster hey? Yeah, yeah. There's this some awesome getting... geckos over there. Yeah, I, I have to be honest. Like I've I've seen like glimpses of the like the real colourful green ones and stuff like that that they've got yeah. over there, but I've never done like any proper sort of like research into them or you know any real looking into them. Yeah, I know. I've been there twice. I'd love to, like, next time I go there, if I happen to go to a right area, I would actually love to have a crack at Herpin for them because apparently a lot of their reptiles over there are impossible. Yeah, I've heard that. He was saying that because <clears throat> that's what I said. I've been over there once and I, I didn't see anything, but obviously I wasn't herping. But, yeah, it'd be cool to go over there and do that. It's yeah, beautiful over there. I love it, man. New Zealand's yeah. fantastic. I, I really did yeah. love the South Island. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it was just because it just feels so big, you know, like yeah. so all the mountains are big, all the hills are big and stuff like that. But North Island was great too. I, I, did, I just went to the South Island when I went. Yeah, I, I've done two trips. Wife and I are a bit of Lord of the Rings nuts. So, you know, yeah, okay. Pro- probably my wife more so than me. So we ended up traveling around to all sorts of spots. Yeah. Yeah. I, did, I didn't, I went to a couple of the spots there, but um, we stayed at a place called, what was it called? Par- I think it's called Paradise, actually. Oh, okay. It's so the the one of the mountains there is. I think it was the, one of the mountains that um, the Eye of Sauron is that what it's called? Oh, uh, yep, yep. Yeah, it was that mountain. They based it off that one. Oh, cool. But when I went, they were filming Wolverine the movie, <laughs> and there was like a, a Hummer rolling down the road. Was it Wolverine? Yeah, it was. Where there was a Hummer rolling down the road. Hugh Jackman was on the side of the road. There was a big machine gun on it, and it was pretty cool. Oh, I had to park off the side of the road while they were driving all the bikes down for the stunt. Oh, right. <laughs> that would have been mad. I think I'm pretty sure it was Wolverine. I can't remember. It was a while ago, but <laughs> anyway. How are you, chame- chameleon geckos, going? What else has been cracking? Yeah, good, eh? They've grown so much, eh? They're pr- pretty much fully grown, eh? Really? The smaller ones I've had now, so. Just trying to track down another a female, so. Oh, putting it out into the other? Yeah, putting it out there. I thought I might have had my hands on one, but no, I don't, okay. apparently. So. You thought one of yours was a girl for a while, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I have okay. to double check. I have to double check. <clears throat> I, don't use, I don't mess around with them too much. They kind of just... I just leave them in the enclosure, feed them, clean them. Like, I don't like to, yeah, stress them out too much. Yeah. But, well, they're um, one of those animals, right? Like, you don't want yeah. to fiddle with them. Yeah, that's exactly right. I've, like, I, that, I've always had, when I had them before, I had pretty good success with them. So I'll just do the same thing again. Just, yep. yeah. But um, they're, they're awesome. They're, I wish there was more around, to be honest. I wish more people had them. Mm. Well, that's the ultimate plan, right, is to try to get yourself a little population so you can try to put them out a bit more steadily. Yeah, because they're an awesome gecko. They're not as hard to keep as people think, but, I mean, if you can keep boids and those type of species, you can keep these guys. I'd certainly love to have them one day, 100%. I think they're bloody gorgeous little animals. Yeah, they're so unique. Mm. There's nothing else like them with those kind of black and white markings and that, that, that face is just... It's like they nothing like else, hey? Yeah. yeah. They look like an alien. Especially when you see some of those like wide angle shots that some of those guys are taking of them, you know, where they kind of look like a weird little smiling creature. Yeah. Been an yeah. absolute dream of mine to get a photograph of one of them in the wild. Yeah, especially when it's your own. 
Yeah. Oh, for sure. Like even I got a, a semi half decent field guide so, sort of shot of a uh, that Owen Pelly, and that's been my background on the computer ever since I got back from the yeah. NT. And I'm like, oh, that's one I'm going to print out because that's my photo. You know, I'll stick that on my wall, sort of thing. So, yeah, yeah. And I can't wait to get like this wall behind me finished, eh? All nicely set up and everything else. I feel like I'm getting there in my room. I feel like my room's I'm starting a mess to get there. At the an absolute yeah. mess. Time's my biggest thing. Well, time, I think time's everybody's biggest thing. It'd be harder for you too because you've got two little ones you're wrangling. At yeah. least whenever I've got a spare moment, I can do it willy-nilly. Yeah. But see, I, I'm one of those people, once I start something, I hate like not finishing it. Mm. So, Yeah, I know what you mean there. I'm definitely yeah. similar. Definitely similar. Tell you what, though, I'm looking at some empty space on my bookshelf and after chatting yeah. to you today... I feel like I need to get back into the book game sooner rather than later. I've kind of jumped back into it quite a bit. I mean, <laughs> sending your pictures here, there, and I got you booked the other day, though. Yeah, which one was that? That was the one with the Glebo on the front. That was uh, yeah. Steve Wilson's book as well. Steve Wilson's it? book, yeah, yeah. Yep. That's how to print too, that book. So, Oh, we could. I've got you one of them. I'm one. assuming you've got yourself a copy of that as well. Yeah, yeah, oh, I got good. myself a copy. I found two of them, so. Picked one up and what else? Yeah, I've just gone started getting nuts into it again. I need to I need to track down a few more of the coggers. So which volumes are you missing? Do you know? Oh, not off the top of my head. They are the nine. I think they're the nineteen ninety six ones. Okay. Off the top of my head, um, the one with the green tree python on it. Okay. On the cover. But um, yeah. I need to track down. But yeah, I, I went. I've got a couple sent today, come out today, a couple of, another, <laughs> like one of the smaller coggers, a uh, frog watch field guide of Victorian frogs. Um, I went through eBay the other day and I think I got like, um, I think like 50 bucks. I got like 10 books or something. That's ridiculous. Yeah. <clears throat> Just some old ladies like secondhand store. Yeah, I was searched a book and it popped up. I'm like, oh yeah, and then like, oh, they have a store, and they're like, if you buy multiples of things, don't just add it to cart. Yeah, so I was right. like, oh, so I flicked through and I'm like, clicked on books, and I'm like, 1500 books. I scrolled through 1500 books and just picked out all the reptile <laughs> ones. That's incredible. That would have been a bit so, of work to do that, but it made you work for your 50 bucks. Oh yeah, but you know, but I I got quite a few um, ones that I didn't I didn't have. I got a double of um. I've already got it, but the um, Field Guide to Reptiles of Australia, I got, uh, I think it was the first edition. I got I got one of them as well because I saw it. I'm like, you can't have too many of them. Yeah. So I field field well. guides of any type are a, a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's but, wicked. Um, yeah, no, they came the other day. I think I sent you a picture of those. As yeah. Well. I couldn't get over when you told me what the price was you paid for it. I was yeah. Like, and there's like probably a couple hundred dollars worth of books there. Yeah. At least. So the only ones I didn't get were the um the John Weigel keeping reptiles book. It's got the diamond python on the front. Ah, uh, yep. Yep. Yeah. I've got a few of those, but um yeah, I didn't grab that. But Yeah. I don't know the one you're talking of. I think I've got it on my shelf here somewhere. I'm pretty yeah, sure I, most people that have reptile books in Australia have got a couple of John Weigel's ones. Yeah. And I got an I got a notification today that uh, Scott Iper's new book has been yes. sent. Yes, I did get that as well. Oh, so I do have more books coming actually. You so do, I do yeah. have that book, and I got the I got his frog one as well when I ordered that. So oh, nice. I'll see, be interested forgot- to see what he writes in the cover because I think I mentioned something about the Owen Pelly there just to stir him up. So yeah, <laughs> I'll be interested to see what what Slurry puts in the front cover. <laughs> actually, I've got another book coming as well. I forgot about that that I I, I ordered it, and then mm. it wasn't till um um Ty messaged me. Ask him, like, because obviously I've got a signed one, what I yeah. wanted in the cover, if it was for someone else. I was like, oh, no, they're both for me. And I'm like, crap, I forgot to order it. Like, I ordered that. So keen for that to rock up. But, um, that was the second edition of Snakes of Australia, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I've got the first one as well. But um, yeah. you never have too many books. Never. No, well, I think as I was saying to you earlier today, like once I kind of get my rooms in order and I, you know, not putting any more reptiles in here and stuff, then that's going to become my 
my thing kind of like you is where I'll, I'll start collecting those a little bit more and finding areas to put more bookshelves in. Yeah. I officially need another bookshelf now. Man, when you sent me a photo of your bookshelf the other day, that was looking jam-packed and saggy shelved. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. There's books on top of the books. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's no room left. There's like little little books and stuff in front of books and stuff as well too. Yeah. I don't mind those little um the little pocket guides. Mm. Yeah, They're I quite cool, like those them. little ones. I've only got I think I've only got two of two. Yeah, I need I need to see what other ones there are and grab a couple of the other ones. So. Yeah, I like taking at least one small field guide book, you know, that's no bigger than kind of like fifteen by fifteen centimeters or something. You chuck it in a backpack and it's lightweight yeah. and but yeah, you've got you're talking to like the real tiny ones, aren't really, you? Yeah, they'll fit in like your shirt pocket. Yeah, yeah, the real tiny one. Yeah, those things are pretty incredible. I don't think I've got any of those yet. Yeah, I've got two. Yeah, the Jerry Jerry Swan. I have to keep my eye open for them. Yeah. And I'm starting to collect stickers too. So if anyone has stickers. Oh, send them our way. I need more for my board. I'll send you some as well. Oh, sick. Yeah, my board's looking kind of sad. I've got... (laughs) I've got the the, herp, uh, the Australian Herpticulture podcast one. I've got one of the OG Beaches, Scaly Beast ones, the Gecko Effect, Doc Merton, Notorious Reptiles, and that's it so far. Yeah, I've got a few. Mine are in the, yeah, in the cupboard. I need to get them out. I'm thinking about getting a folder for them, putting them in like a sleeve. Oh, yeah. Keep them intact. Yeah, keep them intact. Yeah. But, um that's just me being a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way I think. I'm like, oh, if I put them in something like that, I'll lose them. Or, yeah. you know, like I'll put them away and never enjoy them. Yeah. So that's why I was like, oh, I've got these aluminium composite boards hanging around. I'll just stick one of those to the wall and cover it in stickers. And, you know, if I don't want to change it up, I can just put another piece of board there and then save that other one somewhere else. Yeah. Oh, I picked up that um, the one of the – Danny Brown series that I didn't have, the turtle one. I picked up one of them the other day. Oh, sick. Yep, yeah, it yep. popped up. I was like, oh, fuck, boom, grab that. Yeah, I completely forgot that I didn't have that one. That's the one that's by Adam Elliott, isn't it? Yes, yep. Yeah. I can't see it on my shelf. I know I've got it there. Oh, there it is. Yep. No, I picked it up from your house. Not just... <laughs> Can't see it on my shelf. Yeah, it's because I bought it home the other day. Yeah, when I was on the wrong side of the wall with the PowerPoint situation, yeah. he's... Jason's supposed to be putting a PowerPoint in instead of stealing my books. Yeah. <laughs> no, I remember that one got wet. My one got wet. I think I was yeah. I was reading it next to the turtle pond and one of them splashed me. So, yeah, right. Anyway, maybe I'll need another copy. And then all of them are up over 200 bucks now, eh? Maybe I don't need another copy. Yeah. Ouch. Yep. All of them, the whole lot, except for uh, you can get the frog one still because mm. the, the shops still have that in stock and same with the pythons in captivity. Mm. Um, but all the other ones, yeah. I think I I need the venomous snakes, the dragons, and then like the big lizard book and I think then I'm complete. Yep. Yeah, the big ones, the the expensive one. Yeah, somebody sent. I remember. I can't remember if it was you or somebody else sent yeah, me a link sent to that. Yeah, the link. Yeah, and that was so cheap too. It was just, yeah, cheap but dear. <laughs> well, it was, yeah, it was still expensive, but at the same time, it was a good price for what it is. You know, yeah. a very very good price for what it is. But um, oh well, wrong place, wrong time. Yep. But yeah, they don't pop up too often either. No, like I was honestly like. I had the money there, but it was for something else. And I'm like, yep. I just don't need to make my life more difficult right now. So, yeah. Yeah. I thought better enough. of it. That's fair enough. Yeah. But no, nah, so, yeah. So I've got, I think I've got another book coming too. I bought it the other day. What's that? I can't remember what it was. I love how you just buy books, never remember the titles until they turn up, and then I get a, p- a picture in the inbox. No, because I like I order them and then I just forget. Like not not that I forget, but um, I, I know what um, you mean. Yeah, because especially because I've got a few recently as well. It's like, yeah, I can't even remember where it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't remember what it is. 
I thought I'd have a message somewhere. I've got the tracking number, but that's about it. <laughs> Tell you what, man, I got um, I got my my mate who did the vinyl printing for the monitor enclosures to actually print me out a loose piece of vinyl for the hopping mice cage. Yeah. So the the because as I've said in the past, like the the monitor ones, I got done on aluminium board as well, which. Yep gets pretty pricey um yeah i got him to make me a roll of uh spin effects looking well one of my pictures that were of spin effects and uh, yeah he printed that out and i got that into the spin effects hopping mice actually after you left on sunday oh nice so that turned out really well hey yeah really really well and uh so far they haven't damaged it which i'm very glad of oh that's good but no, it's um compared to that blue spray paint background that I did in there, yeah, that was kind of flaking off. It looks so much better. Hey, I'm um I actually dropped in a whole bunch of images to him today, just to see what it's going to cost me to get the rest of that Exoterra rack done. So another nine enclosures. Yeah, but he's saying that the way that he's going to have to do it, because I want to stick the images on the outside of the enclosures rather than the inside mm-hmm. on those Exoterras, obviously being glass. Um, he's going to have to do it on a like clear vinyl. Yep. So the image is kind of like transparent there. Then he's going to have to laminate it with a bit of white. And then I was asking him, could he do it in black? But he's like, it's going to throw the colors of the actual image out way too far. So it'll look really dark yeah. in your tank. Yeah. So then he's going to do a second coat of laminate over the top of that in black. So then the tanks will still look black from the outside. Yeah, but the image will be crisp on the inside. Oh, that's yeah, that's awesome. That'll look good. Might be a bit more costly, but at the same time, I kind of thought I was like, well, do it once, do it right. Yeah, and then that way, I've kind of just given him like the exact dimensions, so I can just you know take a tank out, slap a background on, bang, instantly looks like ten times better. Yeah, which would be really mad, and like. Pretty much all of them, I think, bar two tanks are all my images as well. So it's kind of like, yeah, it's kind of crazy in that sense, I think, a bit nostalgic. Yeah. But yeah, it's uh, it's going to look very different in here very soon. And then I've just got to do the two, two tanks behind me, which will be a slightly bigger Gillen's monitor tank and a frill neck tank. So and then this room will be done. Yeah, done, so, so you say. Hopefully I'll knock it out before the kid turns up. Done, so you say. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, got to run out of room at some point, right? Exactly. Especially for now. Yeah. No, I just, I've got the vision in my head of what I want. And once it's done, I'll just be happy. You kind of know anyway, but. I do know, but I know you're keeping it secret. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's all right. I'm looking forward but to I'm, the day when it is done so I can come up and, and actually, well, I mean, I, I want to come up anyway. I've got to come up shortly. Yeah, come up. yeah. I've got all that stuff for you too, so. Yeah. Yeah, and you left a bunch of stuff here, so I'll, I'll make the trip up this time and come see you. Yeah. We'll keep coming down here, so we'll do that. Do it that way around. Yeah. A couple of sure. weekends, few, few, uh, two or three weekends time probably if, we, if it happens to line up for us. Yeah. Yep, sounds um, good. Not this weekend coming because obviously that's Expo weekend, but the expo, weekend yeah. after that, I'm stripping enclosures out of you like mad. So yeah, I'm going to start the shuffle, start the major shuffle in the other room to try to create space because I need to start building baby furniture. Yeah. So you're going to empty that room completely? Mm, not for now. Not for yeah. now because I'm struggling with the idea of potentially moving Loki on. That's yes. my biggest thing. Because I'm kind of like, you know, if there's a couple of small tanks in that room still, it's not the end of the world. Um, and I can probably yeah. move some stuff into our bedroom, worst case. But the the kid's going to stay in our bedroom for at least probably the first six months. Um, yeah. So for that time period, at least, I'll have animals in that room. But I'm trying to make it as empty as possible in preparation for when, when the kid needs to exit our room. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I, I just don't know what to do with Loki. Like, I've had a few people kind of say, like, you can make better use of the space in your lounge room, but I also need space to live. So, 
Yeah, exactly. You know, I can't just put like a 2.4 meter, be 1200, be 900 box in my lounge room and make it look horrible. So Yeah, that's right. And you're about to put baby green tree pythons out there. So Yeah. And look, that's smaller. That's neater. Yeah. You know, and it doesn't stick out as far too. Like. Nowhere near. You know, you're talking 450 versus 900. That's already half your yeah. gap. So, yeah. Yeah. That's one of those things that I, I think I already realized in my head that at some point it's going to have to happen. And, and unfortunately, she's going to have to go. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to hold on to it while I can. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, there's already – it's honestly been like as much as I'm super, super excited about having this child and everything that goes along with it, getting rid of some of these animals has been fucking gut-wrenching, man. Gut-wrenching. Yeah. Like – It'll all change once you have your child, though. Oh, like I know. I know I know. it's all for the right reasons. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But at the same time, when you're talking like a diamond python or something that you've had for six, seven years. Oh, you know, yeah animals that you've only had for a few years and you've fallen so in love with, like my olive python, man, I reckon that was probably, I reckon that was probably the hardest one. Even though he's one of the younger animals, I loved that snake. That snake was just, he was gorgeous. He was switched on. He was just so, he was just awesome. Just an awesome python. And I know he's gone to good hands. I know all of them have, but it's just one of those things, hey, where you just go, you, you you might be able to buy another olive python, but it's not going to be that. You know? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, yeah, but I just keep saying to everybody that got everything off me, I'm like, <laughs> if you need to get rid of them, just let me know first because yeah. if I can, I will. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, yeah. That's what I might have to do oh, about the Swainy message person that I sold them to see if they've still got any. Give it a go. I mean, worst yeah. case, they say no. You know? Yeah, exactly. So, or they might be yeah. able to tell you where they went from them. If yeah, they've still got them. So, or if they don't still have them, so it's always nah. just, always worth a shot. No, hundred percent. I have to track down and, and do that. I think because yeah, I haven't seen like you said, I haven't seen them advertised for ages. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're one of those animals where you just don't see them kicking around. Well, a lot of the leaf nah. tails you don't, but you're way more likely to see um, platurus and and morets and stuff. But yeah. Actually, I'd even say I'd even hazard to say that you probably see corn nudus more often than morets. You know? Recently, yeah, recently, recently. yeah. Go back a few a... too, but they've been males, mm. and obviously hatchlings. But mm. yeah, well, people are always going to get rid of males. Yeah, that's the downside of being born a boy in the reptile world. Yeah, it passed around a bit, unless you're in a snake and you. Whole genetics. Mm, yep. <laughs> but um. <laughs> yep. Yeah. No. I've I've got. Yeah, I've seen it. There was another male popped up the other day. Someone going to the expo expo special or something. I noticed that's been a big um, selling point recently. The expo special. Yeah. Yeah. Heaps of people like that was something that people used to talk about quite a few years ago where, you know, maybe I'm oh, going back, like maybe not quite a few, but five, six years ago, it would be like, oh, Expo special. If you message me now, I'll give you a deal or whatever like that. And we'll pick it up at the Expo. Yeah. And I hadn't seen that for the last few years, but heaps of yeah. people have been posting what they're taking down this time. Which is good. Yeah. It's, it, it is good because I think it's a way to generate interest for not only the, the vendor themselves, but also for the actual the whole show. Expo. Yeah, yeah, that's right. If you can go there and meet the breeder that you're buying it off rather than, you know, meet other people while you're there and this and mm. that. So you know, and it's all it's it's almost nice to be able to kind of hook those things up prior. So it almost makes it good for the vendor because they know they've kind of covered their table and fuel or whatever like that. Yeah. Um, but it's also good for for people to kind of go, oh, that's the one animal I was after and I know I've secured it and I'm still going to go and have an awesome day and see all this other stuff. So, hmm. you know, benefits all around really. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, it would have been good to go down, but, you know, what can you do, eh? That's all right. I'll film it for you and you can watch it. Yeah. We'll see how we go. No, I'm looking- just like wandering around and seeing all the different animals and the people there. and Yeah. Yeah, I always like meeting new faces and stuff like that too. Yeah. And the old, old faces alike. Yeah. But no, I've never been down to that one. So I was actually keen to go down just for that reason because I'd never been there. Is Rick going down? Rick's going, isn't he? 
I have a feeling he is. I don't know if he's actually said anything like he is. He um, usually does. He loves that one, doesn't he? Yeah, I think it's one of his his more his um, main one. Yeah, yeah. Um, I hope he is because I'll definitely go and hang out with him. Yeah, it would have been good to have a chat with Rick. I don't know. A chat with Rick. Oh, he's... Yeah, I have a feeling that I might talk to him about certain species of geckos because <laughs> I'm a sucker. And I do have an empty cage that has been empty for a while looking for geckos. And I think the wheeler rye that I was going to get, unfortunately, didn't pan out for me this year, which is just the way you know seasons go every now and then. Yeah. Um, but I think I've got a different species in mind for that tank. Yeah. Which will round me out quite nicely with my arid geckos. Yeah, that'll look good. I already know, bit. so. <laughs> Do you? Yeah, I think I did you tell you when me. you were down, yeah. didn't I? Yeah, I yeah. would have. I would have. <coughs> yeah, but um, no, that'll look good. Yeah, yeah. I've, um, Upsizing while downsizing. Wow, well, yeah, you know, you get <laughs> like 20 large pythons and you get yeah, some right. small geckos instead. Do you know what I have yeah. really noticed? I think I told you this the other day, but I've noticed that it takes me bugger all time to feed everything now, and that's weirding me out. Yeah, right. Like, I'm like, I need to feed the geckos. Bang, bang, bang. Oh. <laughs> it took me like yeah, five minutes to chuck crickets yeah. around. <laughs> yeah. I, I usually set Especially, aside an hour. Yeah. Well, that's like here. I just obviously got the cricket tub and most of the stuff kind of eats the same size crickets. So I just um, dust a bunch and then in the big container and just tip them in as I go. And then if I run out, I fill it up again, dust them again and then I'm like, oh, I'm done. Like, I, I you know, I prep this like I'm going to go down, waste a bit of time down there and then I feed it and I'm like, oh, it's not really much else I can do now. So. Just admire. Yeah. I, I, I found myself recently where I kind of just like walk into this room yeah, and then I I feel like I need to do something but I don't and so I just end up looking at it. So I'm yeah. actually spending more time looking at my animals and observing them and seeing what they're up to and just – admiring them rather than going, ah, oh, shit, I need to run around, I need to do this, I need to clean that, I need to top this water bowl up, cricket, cricket, cricket. Yeah. But it's actually quite a nice to go, this is actually not so bad having a smaller collection, you know. Sure, I got rid of a lot of animals that I love, but this is so much more pleasant. Yeah. Well, that's kind of what I can't wait to get to the point to as well. But yes. you've kind of done the opposite. Sure, like, I mean, you're still manageable where you're at now, but – yeah. You know, you well, went from Boyd's and a couple of geckos and then all of a sudden you grabbed, what, 12 leafies off me and you've been grabbing a few more. And Yeah, but it's not it's not too much. Like yeah. it's still – what I had before was too much. I think I had like yeah, it was like 80 geckos at one point or something, I think it was. Yeah. That's just it. in this small room I'm in. But, um, yeah, like it's what I've got now where I want to get to. It's not – once it's fully set up, it'll like – yeah, it won't take long at all. It's not too many animals to deal with. Like I've pretty much only need another a female um, salabrosis and then some swainy and then obviously a couple more chameleon geckos when I can find some. But, you know, okay. it's not really much more extra than what I've got and obviously grain tree pythons but, you know, and then I'm done. Like I don't. I don't want anything else. Like I know I spoke about I wanted Kimberly rock monitors and this and that, but I think I, what I've got is what I'm going to stick with and just work on them, focus on them. Well, you always know you've got an open invitation to look at a Kimberly if you need to. So Yeah, exactly. And come down and gawk so, at her. Yeah, exactly. But, um, yeah, so I think once I get – and obviously I've got the frogs as well, so – See, with the frogs, though, you were telling me something interesting before we jumped on here. You were telling me that you really love those little filler crower more than the the guys and the parents, hey? Yeah. I don't know, something about those little filler crower. Like, they're just cool. They're like, yeah, something about them. The the parents and the the red eyes, like, they're still cool. But I, I think because I've got them around here, I'm kind of like, I can just walk. That's what the other reason why I've never kept, um, Fluorus as well, blood yeah, yeah. It's because they're outside. Like, I the the kick's just not there. If that mm. makes sense. Mm. Um, but yeah, so I get what you mean. Those little filacrow, like I mean, they they were close to me. I used to be able to go and see them every day if I wanted to. Yeah, a wild yeah. ones. Um, but they uh, there's something special about those little tiny frogs. Yeah, like, I like them. 
That's why they were the last to leave here. Yeah. But that, that, that's um, tonight was the first night that I heard him croak in weeks. Yeah, he was quiet for a bit. Even. He's, he's like, oh, maybe I'll see if I can find a female just before the season's over. So, <laughs> yeah. But, um, I was like, oh, that's right. I remember that little little bastard keeping me awake. Yeah. Lovely but yeah, I don't know. I think I think that might be just the fact that yeah, they're they're around here that I'm just kind of like, cool. Mm. I don't know. No, I get what you mean. I I'd, think I'd that... love a big um, I'd love a big white lips tree frog, white lip tree frog. I think. Yeah, that'd be mad. That's what my wife wants so. Oh, I had to pull in the reins today because I almost wanted to message Cindy about frogs, and <laughs> I was like, no, there's a reason you got out of frogs. Yeah. But she had mags, and I was like, oh, "I love magnificent tree frogs." Yeah, they are awesome. Um, but um, yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm set on a white lip. They're good frogs, man. Yeah, They're good. I never could find one. So yeah, and I that's been uh, done. I keep saying that's been done, but then I say, "Oh, and this, and this." And this. <laughs> but no, I've got a few other things on the go, so I don't want to get too much. So. Just want to see what I've got. Yeah. So I'm keen. Yeah. yeah. I um just checked somebody's frog list to see if they had white lips for you, but they currently don't. Damn it. If anyone has white lip tree frogs, let me know. <laughs> Put that out into the ether. Yeah, do that. Yeah. That's the benefit so, of having a platform like this. We can ask if anybody's got anything and see if we can get some favours involved. So, yeah, we at least get some deals teed up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, they're they're stunning. Those white lips, just the size. Yeah, I wish I, I wish I had experienced mine when it was actually big, but I think yeah. mine was probably like oh, a bit bigger than like a fifty cent piece size. Yeah. By the time I sold him, but you know, I bought it and it was like a pinky fingernail size when I got it it was tiny yeah it was tiny tiny it was like a, an extra small cricket was big for it yeah right it was ridiculous well yeah no they, they are really cool frog about 14 15 centimeters from from head head to tail I think like that, or tail yeah tail. something like that they're the biggest in Australia that. aren't they I think uh biggest tree frog in the world if I'm not mistaken yeah that rings a bell yeah Tree frog, I'll be specific there. Tree frog, yeah, tree frog, yeah, not frog, tree no. frog, but yeah, no, yeah, so unreal animals, though, unreal. yeah, there's something about frogs and turtles, something about turtles, yeah, I say that, but there's a turtle species I'd love to get to. <laughs> What's that, or you're not going to say? Oh, no, no, it's the um, Irwin's turtle. Oh, yeah, I'd love to get some of them. Yeah, fl- flicking through John Can's turtle book is a dangerous thing. There's yep. so many good pictures and stories and information in that book. Yeah. Yeah, and no, I'd love to get some of them. They're probably the, like, yeah, my favourite species of turtle. Can you keep them in New South Wales? I'm not sure. I think you can. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't looked at the species list for turtles for a while. No, neither. I think you can. I think... um. Yeah, I don't know. Did Andrew have those? I think he does, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if anybody was going to, it would be him. Yeah. But, um, yeah, yeah. they're they're probably my favourite. But um, once I get the pond finished, I'm actually in permanent pond, not my temporary one. Could be on the cards if I can ever track them down, so. Oh, well, just got to start somewhere. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully, hopefully the universe lines up, mate. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm done. That's it. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've got stuff that I want, but it's just not going to be practical now. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm pretty much there. The stuff I've wanted, and that's what I'll, I'll, I want to get. And then I want to work on trying to get more leaf tails out there and chameleon geckos. I'd love to try a pygopod one day. Oh, don't say that because I would too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. I think we spoke about that before. Yeah, like Western Scary Foot or something like that would be mad. Yeah. No, they're not, awesome. Not, but Not a lizard either. I don't want that. No, nah, they'd be too hard. Yeah. But no, nah, they're definitely cool. 
one day. One day. One day. <laughs> one day when I win the lotto and have a massive room and aeroplane hangar. Yep, an aeroplane hangar and one day. I'll never win it, so it's never gonna happen. <clears throat> Your own uh, serpentarium. Yep, that's it. <laughs> but no, well. I'm sure that's everyone's dream, isn't it? Oh, just about. I think it would have to be, right? Yeah. Get, get paid to look after your reptiles all day. That'd be mad. Yeah. Yep. Be the dream, but it's never going to happen, so I can only keep dreaming. Oh, you keep playing your cards right with that lotto. You might end up lucky. Yeah. So right. it was $40 million tonight, but I didn't win it, so. Yeah, there'll be one person that won it too. You just wait. Yeah. No, my luck like, would be like forty million, and then it'd be like forty people. No, there'd be like a hundred people that win it or something. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. No, anyway, mate. What do you reckon? Enough chit chat for one week. That was good. Yeah. Good, good little catch up between us. I always do like talking to to yeah, you because it's one thing over a message; it's another people, another, another thing doing a podcast. Yeah, and you can't see my ugly mug tonight because my camera stopped working. So yeah, it's weird. <laughs> That's all right. At least I saw you a couple of days ago, mate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So we'd like to say a massive thank you to Eric and Owen and the rest of the NPR crew for having us. If you'd like to contact them, it's best to find them at moreliapythonradio.com and email them at info at moreliapythonradio.com. Make sure to follow the NPR network on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. As far as contacting us and our social media platforms, you can email us at australianhopetoculture at gmail.com. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram as well. Make sure to check out our Teespring store for podcast merch. The link is on the Facebook page. To see more of what Jason is doing, make sure to follow him on Facebook and Instagram at The Gecko Effect. For myself, you can find me on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Patreon, and Teespring under Feature Scaly Beasts. We hope to have you back next week for another episode of the Australian Hope to Culture podcast. Good night, girls. Good night.